Welcome to ECLMO Learning Simplified and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we have discussed simples which are used in a simple circuit and we looked at a simple which we call a voltimeter, which we said is it is simple, is drawn like this. You have a wire, then a circle between it, and then we have V here. And we said this a voltimeter is used to measure electromotive force or the potential difference. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss electromotive force and potential difference, and we are going to see how different electromotive force is from potential difference. However, they are measured using a same instrument which we call a voltimeter. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. So by the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to distinguish between EMF and PD. EMF means EMF is electromotive force, electromotive force, and then PD means potential difference, potential difference. So I expect you to be able to differentiate between the two. And then finally, use the idea of EMF and potential difference to calculate the lost voltage. And in this case, we're going to realize that for us to get lost voltage or the voltage which is lost in between uh, the potential difference and, and uh, electromotive force, we're going to get it as EMF minus potential difference. We're going to see this and we're going to do some numerical examples. So we have electromotive force and potential difference and electromotive force which is also called an AMF, refers to the voltage across the terminal of a battery in an open circuit. In this case, we mean when no current is flowing in that circuit. So in this case, if we have a simple cell or in a, a simple circuit like this, we have a simple circuit. Remember, a simple circuit, we said it must have a battery. A battery is drawn, or a cell is drawn with the long a line with which represent the positive terminal, then the short one represent the negative. And then we have a switch for us to have a simple circuit. In this case, the switch is open. And then we have a bulb. A bulb, we said you draw a circle with a cross in it. And then now these lines make a 90 degrees where they are making corners. So now when we have a simple circuit like this one, if now th this represents a bulb, a switch, a cell, and then we have a connecting wire. So here, when we the switch is open or there's no current which is flowing, when this switch is open here, it means there's no current which is flowing. So in this case, if you bring a voltimeter, if you bring a voltimeter, which we always connect in parallel, parallel we are going to see how it happens but simply means the positive terminal of the cell you connect to the positive terminal of the voltimeter and then the negative terminal of the cell you connect to the negative terminal of the voltimeter so if you connect a voltimeter here with this positive and negative there then this voltimeter whatever it will be reading there when the switch is open this one will be emf so EMF is the voltage across the terminal of a battery when the switch is open or when the current is not flowing in that circuit. Then we have what we call potential difference. Now potential difference refers to the voltage across the terminal of a battery in a closed circuit. Remember closed circuit we said is a circuit which allows current to flow in a complete path. So in this case, if you have now, let me draw another simple. Now, the, the first one that we have drawn here is for uh, EMF. This is the first one. Let me draw another one down here for potential difference. So if you have um, a circuit like this or a, a, a simple circuit like this one here, where we have a battery here, a battery, this is the positive, negative, then we have a switch here, but now in this case, our switch will be closed. This switch now, this is the switch and it's closed now. So the switch is closed. 
then we have our bulb here this is our bulb and then we have the connecting wire like that so in this case since the switch is closed now in this case let me write closed switch here we have open switch open switch now when the switch is closed it means we have a closed circuit so if you bring a voltmeter and you connect it in parallel with this a battery parallel i've said the positive terminal of the of the voltmeter will be connected to the positive terminal of the cell and the negative terminal of the voltmeter also getting connected to the negative terminal of the cell so here if you have the voltmeter remember when this switch is closed this bulb is lighting or there's light on this bulb then it means some some current or some voltage will be used in lighting this bulb so what you will measure here now will be what we call a potential difference pd it's very important for you to distinguish between the two for emf it's the voltage across the terminal of a cell when the switch is open like in this first diagram here therefore in this case the bulb there's no light on this bulb then on a on a potential difference is the voltage across the terminal of the cell on an on a closed circuit or when the switch is closed and the current and voltage is flowing throughout so in this case what you will get is some of the potential difference will be you will get the voltage which has remained after the bulb has been lit we are going to see that later in what we call the lost voltage so another thing that you should know here these two all the potential difference and the emf is measured in volts so if you measure and the voltmeter is reading two it will be two volts so that is the si unit of a voltage and then an instrument which measured voltage is called a voltmeter and in the lab is an instrument which is written v then a voltmeter is always connected in parallel parallel i've said is when you connect the positive terminal of a device to the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal of a device to the negative terminal of the battery so when you have a simple circuit like this one here which has a battery and it has a switch and it has a bulb here then a connecting wire like that and you have a voltmeter here like that which is connected in parallel parallel means the positive terminal is connected to the uh, positive terminal of the component and the negative terminal is connected to the negative terminal now if with this voltmeter you read the what it reads in this voltmeter when this switch is open what you will get is the electromotive force or what we call the emf emf when the switch is open switch open then now when you close the switch when you close the switch what you will read is the voltage which will remain after the bulb has used some of the of the voltage so when now you close the switch when you close the switch in this case you close this switch the switch you will get what we call a pd potential difference it means in this case the potential difference that you will get is all the whatever you read on the voltmeter is lower than what you read before you switch on the switch then it means this bulb have used some of the energy or some of the voltage now the voltage which is used when the bulb is on and the switch is closed is called the lost voltage and lost voltage is lost in two ways one it's lost due to the energy which is used by the bulb and two it's lost due to internal resistance of the cell and the wire remember the wire has some resistance because particles are vibrating they are knocking each other so in this case for us to calculate lost voltage for us to calculate the lost voltage we will take the voltage before you switch on the the switch then you will subtract the potential difference after you switch on the switch and therefore what we will get is the voltage which was lost 
or which was used during the process of lighting the bulb. So in this case, EMF is equals to PD plus lost voltage. Or if we need lost voltage, then we will take PD the other side. And if we bring PD the other side, it is positive here, it will become negative. And then we will get this equation too. Lost voltage is equals to EMF minus potential difference. So this voltage is lost because of opposition. Opposition of the flow of charge within the cell. That's what we call internal resistance. And sometimes there's opposition of the current flowing in the wire in what we are going to discuss later because different wires have different resistance. So we are going to do uh, one question so that we, are, we understand better how to calculate lost voltage. And I'm going to give a question here. The, the EMF, the EMF of a cell is 1.5. If the potential difference, the PD, is measured, is measured as 1.2 after the switch is closed. After the switch is closed. Calculate, calculate the lost voltage. Now, what you do, you write down what you have or what we have, like I said. Here, what do we have? We have EMF as 1.5 voltage or volts, in case it's volts. Then we have PD as 1.2 volts. Then we are looking for lost voltage. Lost voltage, that's what we are looking for. And now we can write our formula. Lost voltage, lost this is the solution. Let me write using a different ink. Solution, solution, lost voltage, lost voltage is equals to EMF minus PD. So in this case, lost voltage is equals to 1.5 volts minus 1.2 volts which is going to give us uh, 0 0.3 volts as our lost voltage. So the voltage which is used by the bulb is 0 0.3 volts. So that marks the end of our lesson today. For more of these questions and others, and even more resources on this lesson, visit ECLMO Learning Simplified. The link is down here at the website. Then you will learn more as we proceed.